Hello there everyone, Tom here. Today I'm going to be showing you this uh, we uh, very weird rogue. It's called Hard Drive Diagnostic. And, if I just go full screen. <coughs> so, this is Hard Drive Diagnostic. Now, there are many rogues that are like this, and what it's doing is, is it's, it's a rogue, it's a rogue, um, optimization program. So, you know, as you can see, it's scanning errors, uh, down here, it says, critical error, damaged hard drive clusters detected. So, you know, it's sort of stupid the way it does it, because I'm, I'm going to show you. Let's see, so, drive C initializing error, and what the heck? Windows can't find hard disk space. Yeah, that's stupid because you know we're we're still here, aren't we? We're, and we can get to everything, and everything's working. It's just that we've got this stupid thing on here. Anyway, um, hard drive doesn't seem to respond to system commands. Well, that's a bit stupid because, <laughs> well, you know we're we're able to you know open stuff and all, all that crap. So anyway. Boot section of the hard drive disk is damaged. Well, we wouldn't be able to boot into Windows, would we? RAM memory <laughs> defragmentation required. I've never heard of that before. Well, I mean, you know, RAM booster does that, but, but it's sort of the way it says it. Problem detected whilst reading uh, boot operating system files. Well, <laughs> again, we would not be in Windows, would we? So, Either way, so that's the diagnostics tab. Uh, we've got four tabs along here. We've got system status. Okay. Um, it makes it look like a bit like a Windows 7 uh, type thing. Text mission. You know, it says this is in danger. Uh, along here, we, we've got like I don't know the installed modules and stuff. You know, so it's saying that it it can do. Cleaning and scanning, and, and it just simply can't uh, do the uh, hard disk repair. So, anyway, that brings us back to that. Uh, I'll cancel that. Uh, settings uh, we've got start automatically, minimize the tray. Uh, I should also say that we've also got other Trojans on here. Uh, you know, viruses and all that stuff, you know, all the random characters and stuff, so, yeah. I will be doing a removal video. Set that to that, I don't really care. It's not even a real program. Um, <laughs> that's a bit weird, isn't it? I mean, you know, drop down box saying update, and that's all you can do, so. I mean, that really, that, this really heals things. Schedule. We can't do anything for the uh, for the repair because you know it's not even enabled because we've not you know bought this uh, we've not bought this legitimate hard drive program. Um, anyway, if I just hit health and support, I think it's done it. Has it? All right, here we go. Uh, we've got this safe browser thing. Now this has actually come from um safe browser, it's actually from like this family of very old robes, if you remember like there's the what was it now, anti malware that actually had this as well. But you can see that it's it's trying to imitate um Internet Explorer 8. We've only got a cross and there's no minimize. We can't change the URL and browse to another website. We've got you know a fake, you know, saying that this is a secure pay, but either way, the, the site's down, we can't really get get anything, because I think this rogue is gone now, so I'm, I'm really sorry if this is no use to you, but I thought I'd just show you how to remove it, and you know, just sort of show you the program. I, 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 do, I do seem to, to be like, missing hard drive, what a load of bollocks, anyway, so you go to run defragmation, uh, defragmentation. Start. 
Now I do believe this does take a long time, so I may not, I may not actually see uh, all the way through to the end because it's kind of stupid. Because I mean, you know, most most things like this just go by in the boom. I mean, what what I do find myself impressed with with these ropes, they actually do display a uh, genuine operating system uh, information. So you know. Windows XP Professional installed memory one gig, uh, HDD what six gig uh, gigabytes gigabytes. Private data is at risk. That's silly because that's like saying that our private data is going to be exploited when apparently all that's going to happen is it's going to get damaged, and that's obviously bad. But you know we know that this is just some fake. See. Uh, Now, uh, let's see, uninstall, I right click that and go to properties, I'm just a bit curious, um, come on, dear, 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 okay, so, yeah, uh, we, uh, it's, it's still, I would not count on this un uninstall file, these are all the, uh, these are all the viruses that I've got on here. Obviously, this is some tainted uh, flash player file. So this is going to be taking a very long time. So let's see. Don't know if it, I should continue or not. I think I think I'll just stop this uh, because RAM memory usage is critically high. That's a load of crap again. Stop. Dear, dear, dear. Cancel it. Okay, there we go. Uh, so it does successfully. Um, it does actually successfully. Um, you know, fix some things. So what I find weird about this is that the disk cleaner. It just it you know it sort of says you know clean this and that. But like, there's no actual, there's no actual thing sort of saying, you know, click here to clean now. There's, that's ridiculous because it has, it has actually absolutely no option to do that. So that's really really silly. Excuse me a moment. Hi guys, sorry about that. Yeah, um, so we've come back and this seems to be here. Uh, I do not know where this is coming from. I'm guessing the Explorer uh, bollocks. Um, yeah, okay, let's see. Uh, no, I'm guessing that this is um, this activation window is some sort of HTML code or something. But yeah, it doesn't care about your registration email. All you need to do is look for an ad activation code. But to be honest, um, Rogamp has one, but it doesn't really work for me. I've tried it. <clears throat> so, I think um, I'm going to show you how to move now. What you want to do is you you want to repeat, uh, reboot your computer into safe mode, really. So that's pretty simple. You spam uh, F8. Go into safe mode with networking. Uh, yeah, so for me it's F8 um, uh, when it's booting up, and it'll give you that little menu. All you have to do is say safe mode with networking. When it does all that driver loading, that's completely alright, by the way. I have to click yes there, just in case. <coughs> Now what I like to tend to do uh, when I get into this mode, I like to go to Task Manager and just see what we've got running. Uh, I don't think that's quite right. No, I don't think it is. So there we are. That's we know. So we, we've we've got all legitimate stuff going on now. 
Um, I'm going to turn off System Restore, as you've seen me do. System Restore, turn off, apply, yes. There we go. Um, now then. I don't want to make this a big video file at well, so I'm just going to do something. I'll be right back. Uh, hi, sorry about that. <coughs> anyway, this is uh, a part of most of my videos that I like to show. I like to show the install of malware bytes. And that is because it's just such a great install because it just takes so, so little time. So painful. And it just does so, so much. This removes most of the malware and boom, it's installed. I like that. The uh, the <coughs> the uh, the newer version, uh, the it comes out with a lot of updates. I must say, like, like you know how the number uh, sort of like counts up. Well, it counts up like really, really fast. So that's like impressive. So obviously, they they must have improved the service or something. I don't know. I might just point out a couple of things that you know I think they've really improved on. So they've done an update. Right. I'm gonna just get rid of my uh, temporary files for CC cleaner. Oh dear, hang on. Yeah, that's what I was. Uh, that's actually what I was doing whilst I uh, paused the video. There, that'll make that'll make things a lot faster. So uh, the update's done, but I would check again. Uh, uh, ignore list. Now they've actually put an add button in. Now I don't know why they didn't think to do this before, but that's a bit silly that they've only done it now. But now that they have done it, that actually, you know, that is good. Um, under register, you can enable these uh, after registry. Uh, settings, I will definitely terminate Explorer. I think only one day should be that. That should be it. Well, at least checked. Um, pop. That should be checked for removal. More tools. Okay. So scanner. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna perform a full scan. I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna perform a full scan. Scan. And scan. And I will be right back. See you in a sec. Hello everyone. I'm back. And that scan completed. Quick set of results. We've got 41 items. Show results and um, so rogue.hcd scan. It steals passwords, by the way. That's what that thing was doing. So that's a bit scary that that steals your passwords and it actually comes up in safe mode. Damn. Um, fraud pack. Let's see what that is. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, one thing uh, with stolen passwords. Gen, uh, there's no there's no way that anything can steal your passwords unless if you were to have that on your computer and then you logged into Google or something that would be bad. Uh, but if you didn't type into Google or anything like that, the only way it could steal your password is if you have like uh, stored passwords in Firefox or something. So. That's so. Uh, if you don't do that, then it's not really a problem. But you know, obviously, you're gonna notice that it's there, and you're gonna want to get rid of it. I'm gonna hit. Um, I'm gonna make sure that all the of these are checked, and I'm gonna hit uh, remove selected. It does it really quick because there's there's not like loads and loads of stuff on here, but you know, we get the log. Um, do you want? Uh, would you like to restart now? Yes. And I'll be right back after that restart. See you in a minute. <clears throat> Hi, I'm back. We've uh, it's booted back up again. Uh, the PC. 
<coughs> uh, now all we've got is this little shortcut that we can just simply delete like so and there we are that's gone if we go into task manager we can get to it and uh, there's no there's no uh, bad processes in there if we go to uh, MS config services startup that's clean uh, you may want to take care of the folders if you just you know I've already said this but yeah again I'm doing it <laughs> so yeah when once you've done that let's see uh, documents and settings the user application data uh, no so it's not that it's local local settings uh, application data uh, Might be, might be, uh, all used. Hey, who doesn't? Who cares anyway? Um. So yeah, I think I think that means that uh, right now it's pretty much removed. You know, we can if we go to uh, avg. com. No. <laughs> no. Oh, right. There we go. Uh. So yeah, we can get to that quite easily. Everything's all normal. We've not got high CPU usage. After that, um, you know, I told you to turn off, turn off re uh, system restore. Untick that. Uh, if I were you, I would take the slider and actually adjust it a bit because you know you don't want to have have it taken off all your disk space. It's fine. And after after you've done all that, uh, you know. I would say that you're okay. So, thanks for watching this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like my videos. Uh, the quality on this might not be as good as you found with uh, some of my previous videos because I've actually had to take it down because I, uh, you know, if I'm gonna actually have to be uploading a, a gigabyte file every single time, it's gonna kill me the the weight it takes. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.